Hello, and a warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is not new news, it's just an update to uh, put a few rumours to rest about what's going on with the new internal assessment. I know more, know more than anybody else, but let's just make sure we're all on the same page. Okay. Um, the first teaching will be for the May session, uh, August 23, then first assessment will be May 25. November schools, as in the Southern Hemisphere, first teaching January 24, first assessment November 25. Hopefully that will answer that question every time it's asked for the last time. The things that we know about, we know that the old syllabus had uh, personal engagement, exploration, analysis, evaluation, communication, points two, six, 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 and four. Certainly the new syllabus, what we do know is that 50% of Marks will be conclusion and evaluation. I'm assuming 25% conclusion, 25% evaluation. However, the details of that have not yet been shared with us in the teaching community. We do know that the old syllabus was very strictly individual uh, students using uh, their own data and not sharing the data. With the new syllabus, this one has small groups able to collect data together. That doesn't mean one group can make one internal assessment. They will have to make each their own individual, and they will also have to have their own, uh, either change the IV, the independent variable, or the dependent variable to make it their own. The other big change that we're seeing is we're going from 12 pages, a nebulous concept, of, does that include the appendix, does that include the graphs, all these questions, which always came up, never quite purely or clearly answered, and now it is a 3,000. I'm assuming that the other 50% other than conclusion and evaluation will be background data, some analysis, tables, uh, that sort of thing. But again, we don't know yet. Okay. Um, there's no reason to panic just yet, I don't think, um, since the new to the first teaching is still quite some way away. Um, I have heard that their new syllabus will be published in February 23. If anybody's watching this from the IB, you can corroborate that or appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. But those are the dates as I understand them, and those are the content of contextual uh, contents that we need to be aware of as teachers going forward. Um, where do I get this information from? Freely available. If you just go to ib.org and you look at University Admissions latest curriculum updates, chemistry updates, uh, you will find the information which I've just shared here. Uh, it's been up there for quite some time now, um, which I've just gone through. And it also has more information about the, I would say there's a more of an emphasis, it seems like, in this, this document. There's more an emphasis on the, the mathematics, I'm assuming the quality of the mathematics. Uh, the examiner's reports have said for a number of years about data processing, about kind of consideration of uncertainty, propagation of uncertainty, use of graphs, getting mathematical relationships. And it certainly seems, from my observations, and this is just Mr. M again, that there's going to be more of an emphasis on mathematical rigour in the new internal assessment. As I hear anything else, I will share it with the community. I hope you found this, this useful. Um, and uh, every time someone asks this question in the Ivy Chemistry Teacher Facebook group, I will just put the link to this video. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks very much. Have a great day.